Are you playing Jenga with your health, with your body, with your mind, with your life? Well, every single day when you get up and you go through your day-to-day -day life, getting ready for your job, your occupation, going to work, going to the office, going to your business, going to the gym, taking the dogs out, getting home, having your dinner, going to sleep, all these different things that happen in your life are mixed and intertwined with things that I call stress stackers, a Jenga block. And there's only so many stress stackers we can deal with, blocks we can put on top of the Jenga tower until it all collapses. Now the problem when we have so many stress stackers stacked up and it collapses is that there's no more room to stack stress on. Therefore it gets to 1 p.m. and you're flipping out with someone at the office. It gets to 5, 6, 7 p.m. and you're taking it all out on your partner, blaming it on being hangry. Life is like a box of Jenga. You never know when it's going to fall, but it will if you stack it up high enough. Let me explain. You wake up in the morning. The alarm is buzzing. You smack it, sleep, stress stacker one. You then get slowly into a little bit of sleep. Not into deep sleep, but five, ten minutes in. You've smacked the alarm to sleep mode. You're not even away to drift off yet, and it goes again. Stress stacker two. The dog has been sleeping on your bed, and it wants to jump up to the window and bark at its mate going past. Stress stacker free because you do not want to piss off those neighbours because it's only 6.30 a.m. You get up out of bed. The heating hasn't been put on. Stress stacker four. As you get up, you chuck on your dressing gown, you put on whatever it is you need to put on, you go to the kitchen, you put the coffee on. Stress stacker five. Getting a bunch of caffeine just to kickstart your day because you're feeling groggy because you haven't been respecting your body. And on that note, you realise, hang on, I feel a bit bloated. A bit bloated. Because I ate pizza last night. Stress stacker six. But that's fine. You have a little bit of a peppermint tea uh, along with your coffee and some digestive issues. Like you get some um, heartburn treatment and all that stuff. You pop it in there and you get on with your day. Now, you pop your eggs on the frying pan. You put the bacon in the frying pan and then... The dogs are barking at their other friend walking past at this time and it's 10 past 7, stress stacker 7. We're stacking up, blocks are coming out, going on top. Three blocks per line. Now, you go back to the kitchen after you've quietened those dogs down. One of the dogs once wasn't barking. That dog has now jumped up, picked a bit of bacon and nicked it for himself. Feeling really proud of himself. Stress stacker 8. Not only that, your eggs are now burnt, stress stacker nine. Now you just get everything up, put it on the plate, and now you want to scroll on Facebook and you see that bitch from work that's taken an amazing holiday and decides to take a selfie with the Hollywood sign in the background. Bitch. Stress stacker nine. Now, what happens from there? You go to take a shower, you have your shower, then you get the dogs ready to go for a walk. The dogs, on that walk, see a pussycat and start going absolutely nuts. Stress stacker 10 or 11, I've lost count now, they're just stress stackers. You go back, you put the, t the leads back in, you put the dogs in their crate, you go to finish get ready at bed, then you realize the dog has jumped on the bed with muddy paws before you put them in your crates. Stress stacker, again. Now you look at the time. You've got two minutes to catch that bus. If not, you've got to wait another 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And then you may be late for work. You look outside, the bus stop is right next to your house, and you miss the bus because it's a minute early. Stress stacker. From there, you end up, you end up having to drive to work. As you go down the end of the road, that douche in the BMW cuts you up. And you automatically soon assume he is a complete wanker. Stress stacker. You go to get to work, finally, chill, put yourself in the car park, notice there's no car parking spaces, so you have to park further down the road. Another mile to walk in, it's going to take you 15 minutes to get in. 
and another stress stacker. You get in, you clock in, you go to log on, the system has blocked you from entering your password. Have to ring up service. Stress stacker again. And so on, and so on, and so on. Now, we have to manage our stress stackers as much as possible. And that is going to be allowing you to optimize your stress so you can deal with more of these stress stackers before your tower tumbles over. So before you get home and your poor partner is sitting there completely oblivious to having done anything wrong and yet alone he is the worst person in the world, worse than Donald Trump for example, and he's just sitting there done his work all day. If you'd have got your stress stackers in check and had a full tower when you woke up, maybe there would not have been so much effect. Now, as we let our stress stackers stack up, and then we add extra things on, go into the gym and try and really hard at the gym and pushing and pushing and pushing, then we have food really late, and we're dealing with Facebook, we're dealing with emails really late. We then stop ourselves from having really good regenerative sleep in the evening, which means we don't wake up with a full Jenga tower. Free by free by free by free and so on, which is solid. And gonna allow us to deal with more stress stackers, to deal with more blocks coming out and going on top. And we can help ourselves here, we can have good nutrition, we can have good morning routines like meditation, even if the dogs are on the bed. We can hydrate, we can do exercise to the levels we need to do exercise, which is not going in beast mode. You know I don't think beast mode is a massively important thing. Time, place, maybe 90% of the time, no. We can make sure we respect those around us. Put things into perspective that that BMW driver that cut you up is not a wanker. He may have just actually been up all night helping his wife with their newborn baby. And he might also be on his last warning from work because he's been late before because of that newborn baby and he's just trying to get there and get on with his day. Put that into perspective, you're late as well. Maybe he didn't cut you up. Maybe he was avoiding those kids that just walked across the road which put him slightly off course and he didn't knock the kid over, didn't hit you in the end because you both got good reactions, you can get on with your day without letting it take a chunk out of your tower. Breathe. You can get breathing exercises in. Meditation, breathing exercises, hydration, nutrition, good relationships, intimate time, cuddles, all these different things are going to help. Help you build your stress tower as strong as possible so it does not fall over. And along the way that is going to help you lose weight, lose fat. Why? Because you're managing stress better. Now, Next time you play Jenga, you're going to think about it so much differently. Enjoy.